I think with them, they kind of sort of get what Parkinson's is, but it's the way I describe it to them is like, you know, mom's brain, you know, can only handle certain things. You know, it's, it's a disease, guys, and you, you can't see it. Um, but she cannot, she often is challenged by doing multitasking. And again, multitasking is a big word for an eight and 11 year old. But I'll explain to them like, you know, you're, you're asking your mom to do the laundry, get something up, on, you know, look something up on the computer f for you as well as, oh, you know, can you, can you help me with some math homework or something? Those are three activities you're asking her to do in a matter of two minutes. That's multitasking. And her brain doesn't really process things like that. Pick one. And I'm still, this is still an evolving process for us, but trying to educate them on um, what, it, what Parkinson's might mean to them is that, you know, you know mom's not going to be able to help out with so many things so quickly. You know, we all want things done like that. Uh, we don't make a big deal out of Parkinson's, to be quite honest. You know, um, and I want them to walk around and label their mom as, oh, she's Parkinson's. She's not, you know. And so, um, I th and again, they don't give their mom a break. And I don't think Liz wants that. But they also have to understand that when mom can't do stuff, there's a reason for it. Not that she doesn't want to. It's just that she might be a little slower than maybe she was, you know, uh, six, seven years ago.